Jesus freak here. So I was looking through my MP3 playlist earlier and uh, randomly settled upon a song by U2. I used to have this on two, uh, two albums. One was an LP, the other was an EP. They were both 33s. I used to collect 33s. Yeah, I'm that old. Anyway, the EP had a live version. This is the one I have in my MP3 collection. Now, the song is called 40. And yes, quotation marks are part of the title. And I got to thinking, you know, the song's based on the first three verses of Psalm 40. That's why it's called 40. Now, I wondered, you know, he took it from a Bible that he had in hand. What would that Bible have been? Now, here's the lyrics to the first verse. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit, out of the miry clay. And the second verse goes, He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. Many will see, many will see in fear. Now, given that he called it 40 and not 39, he almost certainly took it from a Protestant translation. In Catholic Bibles, traditionally, Psalms 9 and 10 are combined. So this would be Psalm 39 in a Catholic Bible. So I was looking through, you know, what, what were the major Protestant translations current in 1982 when he wrote the song? It was the King James, the Revised Standard, the New American Standard, the New International Version from 78, and the New, uh, New American Standard from 77, and today's English Version. Um, now, the King James Version, you know, most of the time, if I'm reading from Bible, it's going to be King James. It reads, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Most of the other versions I've checked have something similar. I didn't check uh, today's English version. Don't really have a copy of it at hand. And it's too uh, paraphrased anyways. But I found something interesting looking up the NASB. Now, this is a 1977 edition text. It's starting to get a little dark out, oh, and I haven't turned the light on yet. It's good that this is a large print compared to the, that tiny print of the King James I had in hand. Anyway, Here's how it reads in the NASB 77. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. And he put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear, and will trust in the Lord. The interesting thing is that this version has the phrase, making my footsteps firm, which none of the other common versions from that time period had. 
So when he was in Windmill Hill in Dublin, Ireland, and he just went surfing through a Bible that he had, had or that they had, or I don't know whose Bible it was, but a, there's a good chance that it was a new American standard. That's just what I think. It's speculation. Now it's been almost 40 years, so who knows? Anyway, how long to sing this song? Jesus freak out. <laughs> 